This week on Journeys into Unknown Cultures, the Nessarima. Between the Grand River and the 49th parallel lives a curious union of people. Collectively, they are known as the Nessarima. This week, we will see the Nessarima in two residential settings, the urban, highly populated areas and the rural, less populated regions. Also, we will observe Nessarima cultural practices such as food acquisition and consumption, recreation and dwelling upkeep. While the Nasarima control a vast amount of land, most of its peoples live in densely populated areas. These urban centers are laid out with mathematical precision to maximize their use of space. This creates a more organized population. One residential edifice can house thousands of people. Rural Nasarima life is different. The dwellings are spread apart, leaving more space for a smaller amount of people. Their rural land is covered by towering trees, and on the ground is a mix of monocot and dicot flora. There is a ritual beheading of this flora, which takes place every week or so, depending on rainfall. Food purchasing and preparation has changed drastically over the last few decades for the Nasarima. Very few families grow what they need to eat. The family used to gather together and eat after the day's work was done. Currently, 50 million Nasarima natives use what is called a drive through window to purchase their daily meals, and they don't even have to leave their means of transportation. Many of the Nasarima do work that requires little physical activity. This means with regular food consumption, their body has no way to use the entire caloric intake. To compensate, they regularly run in place or around their community. Most Nasarima don't enjoy this, but do so to keep their body mass index acceptable. Many Nasarima depend on each other for survival. Food, water, construction, and law enforcement are all provided by other people. This allows one person to specialize and sell their talents to the community. While this is for the most part advantageous, any major breakdown in society would leave the Nasarima helpless. Thank you for joining us on our latest installment of Journeys into Unknown Cultures. Next week, we will look into the bizarre death rituals of a Solotax cult.